and welcome back to my channel The Little Puffin. So today I thought I'd give you an insight into what Callum's body looks like and the characteristics of achondroplasia he's actually showing. Um, I recorded this this morning so it's a little bit rough and ready but I thought it would be a good idea to show you the things that I talk about or I mention in my blog and especially with the characteristics some of them have kind of like obscure names. So I thought if I can show you them on him, then it gives you a better idea of how he looks a little bit different and can help you understand, I guess. He's recently um, discovered his toes and his feet, which is quite late um, for his age because he's, um, he's eight months today, actually. Um, so he really struggles, as you can see, to grab his toes and it's he actually really, really has to try and he, he tends to hold his breath when he's doing it because it's quite a strain. But he does it all the time now. So as you can see, his arms... You see your arms? His arms um, only just come down to his hips, whereas most people's arms hang lower. And the tops of his arms here. So these are your long bones. As you can see by his little rolls. They're shorter than they should be, and so as the skin develops as a normal rate, um, <laughs> it's, uh, that's why they get the rolls, because the, there's more skin than there is um, area to cover it. So his rolls, actually, at the moment, aren't too bad. He seems to have like a little growth spurt, so they've quite calmed down a little bit. His legs, again, this is your long bone here. So his legs don't actually look that bad. He doesn't have any rolls on his thighs, but they are obviously, um, they, they're actually shorter, if not equal to um, this part, which should be longer. Um, so they're kind of like the, the most obvious characteristics of Callum's dwarfism, achondroplasia. Um, other things we were told about is that this part of his nose, the bridge of his nose here, is, <laughs> is wider. That's a common characteristic. I don't really know why. And if you'll let me show you, which he loves the camera, so he might not. Can you tell your head, Bubba? The head. <laughs> Cheeky. His head here. So the skull kind of like bosses over. So it sticks up a little bit. Again, it's only like a mild characteristic in Callum. It's not really too obvious. But that is another kind of pointer when they're trying to diagnose. So Callum's head is considered large. It doesn't really go up. Sorry, it doesn't really go up like this. But if I can get him to look to the side. Right, so there you go. So his head actually goes back quite far. It, now it seems to have got into proportion, so it doesn't actually look as obvious. But when he was little, it did stick back quite a bit. Um, I wasn't really aware of this because yeah, obviously to me he was just my perfect little baby he still is um, but it was something that was picked up on so that was the the main concern they had when he was well when he was born and up until um, they discovered his long bones was mainly the size of his head and why it was so out of proportion to his body the final um, characteristic that Callum has at the moment is his spine and his kyphosis so I don't know how long he'll lay like this, but you can't really see because it seems to have gone down. But right here, there's like a bump on his back. You might be able to see with me rubbing it. Um, this is what he does when he lies down. He doesn't have the strength to push himself up. So he raises his legs instead, a bit like a sea lion, bless him. So the bottom of your spine here um, isn't meant to do that. And um, that is part to do with the bone growth. And apparently once he starts to bear his own weight and walk around and stand. Are you going to roll back, Bubba? No? Um, that should correct itself, but they will monitor it and make sure that everything is as it should be. So I just wanted to do a little video, really, just to show you the characteristics. Because a lot of people look at Callum and they don't really understand what's the matter with him. It's only when, like the other day, we put him next to babies that were considerably younger than him that you could see how actually tiny he was. Um, when he's with babies his own age, he doesn't actually look that small. And you can't see things like his arms and his legs. Oh, this is another one. Um, his fingers, that's one. As you can see, his fingers are quite short and like stumpy. And I don't know if he'll show us. 
but there you go ah. so they don't really go up straight they kind of go out like a little starfish and that is another characteristic of um achondroplasia hopefully you can hear that over the rattle right so he's getting grumpy now so we're gonna go get him dressed and start our day but i thought we had the perfect opportunity whilst he was in his nappy to show you the kind of um characteristics of his condition and what he actually looks like so that's all from us that's um everything that he's showing at the moment if he changes at all as he gets bigger i might do another one to give you an update but if you like these little videos and you're enjoying learning about achondroplasia with us, then please, please um, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my blog, and give us a thumbs up so we can do more. Bye. Say bye-bye.